Global IP Trust, Presence Five times Albert Einstein was wrong Albert Einstein is said to be the most intelligent person, to have ever lived. He is placed in the leagues of Galileo Galilei, and Sir Isaac Newton. Einstein dedicated his entire life to science, constantly researching on theories, that help us unravel the mysteries of the universe. His theories are the basis of modern physics. But being a genius did not prevent the scientist from making mistakes. Some of his most significant errors, occurred when he refused to believe the implications, of his own ideas. Here are five of his most notable errors, in no particular order. Einstein's error in his relativity theory. Einstein's theory of relativity, is his most famous and most recognized work. It is probably one of the most game-changing theories about physics, and most of it is being proved in the current times. His theory of relativity describes gravity, space, and time and math equations, which no one had successfully done before. But in order to get the math right, Einstein had to create a new constant number, an unchanging value, like pi or e, and stick it inside his general relativity equations, to balance them. He called it the cosmological constant, and it helped the equations, account for the unchanging nature of the universe. But not long after Einstein published his equations, physicists discovered that the universe wasn't constant, but actually expanding all around us, at a blistering speed. So, Einstein had to abandon the cosmological constant. This in fact, turned out to be a huge mistake. What happened was that, the equation still needed the cosmological constant. Without the cosmological constant, the equation was indeed, not balanced. Scientists acknowledged this, and added a cosmological constant into Einstein's original equations. They now see the cosmological constant, as representative of a mysterious force called dark energy, which is causing the universe to expand, at a faster and faster clip. Gravity Bending Light Gravity is considered to be the weakest of all the forces of nature. But scale it up to the sizes of planets, it becomes clear that gravity, is indeed a pretty strong force. Entire galaxies form because of gravity. Black holes are gravitational monsters. But gravity can do a lot more. Gravity can bend even light. Fields of gravity around objects warp light waves as they pass through, like a huge cluster of galaxies. The bigger the object, the more it will bend light rays around it. This effect is called gravitational lensing. Gravitational lensing is the best way to measure the mass of huge and distant objects. It also magnifies images of really distant objects, so that astronomers can observe them from Earth. Astronomers also use gravitational lensing to map dark matter, an invisible substance, that makes up about 85% of the universe's mass. They create the maps by observing how much dark matter, bends visible light. But Einstein thought gravitational lensing would be too small to see. He dismissed the idea as mostly useless, and he didn't bother publishing his findings, until a colleague urged him. It was a serious misjudgment on Einstein's part to dismiss the idea, at least initially, considering how important the technique is today. Today, we find entire planets, stars, galaxies, clusters, and even the chemical and organic compositions of planets, using gravitational lensing. Gravitational Waves Einstein had already demonstrated that matter can curve space, so it only follows, that moving matter around in space should create a wave, the same way dropping a rock in a lake creates ripples. But ripples in space-time, seemed a little too far-fetched for Einstein. What's more, when he tried to write a mathematical formula, to describe how gravity waves work, he couldn't do it. So Einstein rejected gravitational waves, even though his own theory predicted they exist. He almost published a paper containing that huge error. Luckily another scientist spotted his mistake, before the paper went to press. Einstein was able to fix the gravitational waves formula, and publish the corrected version, suggesting that they do exist. On February 11, 2016, 
the LIGO collaboration announced the first observation of gravitational waves, from a signal detected on September 14, 2015. The waves originated from the violent event, of two massive black holes merging, 1.3 billion light-years away. This observation practically confirmed Einstein's theory on gravitational waves, which he published way back in 1916, as a consequence of his theory of relativity. This just shows the kind of genius Einstein really was. Black holes Black holes are violent events in the universe. They are the end phases of massive stars, whose cores have exploded. They suck in anything that goes near their event horizons. No planets, or stars can escape the gravity of black holes, not even light. The black hole and its singularity, are some of the most puzzling concepts, faced by scientists all over the world, even today. Einstein ran into a similar problem with black holes, his theories predicted their existence, but he couldn't make sense of them. Black holes came in as a consequence of his relativity theories. Supermassive events of space-time, events that posse's infinite density and gravity. The idea was too far-fetched even for Einstein. But, unlike gravitational waves, he never changed his mind. We now have plenty of evidence that black holes not only exist, but some grow to millions of times the sun's mass, including one at the center of the Milky Way. Einstein's concerns on quantum mechanics Einstein's later ideas were critical in the development of quantum mechanics, a branch of physics, that studies the bizarre properties of tiny subatomic particles. In fact, the research that earned him the Nobel Prize in 1921, the photoelectric effect, was hugely instrumental, in the development of quantum mechanics. But Einstein had major doubts about quantum mechanics. And to his credit, a lot of elements of the theory are downright strange. Quantum mechanics' bizarre properties suggest, particles can be in two states at the same time, and can send information to one another, faster than the speed of light. This was in contradiction to his own, and widely accepted, theory of the absolute cosmological speed limit, the speed of light. Even the physicists who study quantum mechanics, are the first to tell you that they don't fully understand it. But we're getting closer and closer to proving, that quantum mechanics is real. So Einstein's failure to accept the theory, may become his biggest blunder yet. Despite all these mistakes, Einstein is still regarded as one of the most influential scientists of all time. His achievements far outweigh his mistakes. After all, you can't revolutionize a field, without making a few goofs along the way. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do like, share and subscribe, and stay tuned for more.